Abstract art, what exactly is it? Abstract art can be colorful, confusing, or graphic. Abstract art uses the fundamentals of line, shape, and color to express an artist's vision, ideas, or emotions. Let's take a look at how some of our students incorporate concepts of abstract art. Check out these line designs done by first grade. What I love about them is we all use the same tools and materials, rulers, pastels, and temper cake paint to make straight lines into a grid and then add colored sections. But each of them look different, expressing the artist's individuality. Second graders were encouraged to do a free form line and then divide it with straight lines, which then creates the idea of geometric and organic shapes. We then colorized it using primary colors. Third grade was inspired by the work of Frank Stella, who made giant pictures using protractors. Notice the organic shapes made when the protractors intersect or dissect each other. Students then used complementary color pairs, pairs opposite each other on the color wheel, to add a lot of pop. This collage done by a third grader uses the idea of using shapes to tell a story. Even portraits can be made abstract, like this one done by a fourth grader. This broken portrait by a second grader, inspired by Pablo Picasso, definitely falls in the abstract category. I love working with abstract concepts with students because they really embrace the idea of using colors, shapes, and lines in interesting ways.